All right, it's time to change things over. Uh, I've got one more extra battery, and I'm not going to be able to fit them in that box. So over here, I have a new box. Uh, I used to use that for all my pool supplies. And I have some insulation, I don't know if you can see it or not, sitting inside right at the ass end of that uh, truck right there. I'm going to insulate it all. And I'm going to hook it up to a six battery bank. It will be a total of 640 watts. And then I'll hook all 320 watts of solar panels up to that to, um, to make sure it keeps charging right back to where it needs to be. And like I said, it's just a temporary thing. I'm just testing all my small equipment out. So when I do get my property that I can make, take in a you know, I'll hook up the bigger equipment and know about what I need. So, it's all a learning curve, but it seems to be coming together pretty good. Let's see if I here. I'll pause the camera. I'll go in and show you the readings on the uh, what they're doing now as of set up with those the way I had it before. Like I said, this pretty good. Like I said, just the way it's set up now. But. <coughs> see 13.76 and the other one is a 13.24 so all right like I said now show you everything after I get it all set up and how I'm doing it okay I got everything disassembled uh, let me see turn this around got the uh, new battery box drying out washed it cleaned it all out here there we go so my theory is to take all these uh, panels and just hook them up uh, I'm going to try to run I'm still going to run those 90 watts through the MPPT charge controller the little cheap China one and then the rest of them I'm just going to have hooked up because they already have their own charge controllers and they're working fine and if it's Working good and working right, you know, it's not broken, don't fix it. So that's where I'm at. <laughs> that's where I'm at. You get no help. Got a little pain in the butt here. What's the matter, Lana? Oh. <laughs> okay. So that's where I'm at. Now I'm going to start trying to get the uh, battery box in place and uh, start hooking up things. Alright, I'm going to show you what I'm doing here. Now, everything everything I do is going to it's going to be changed around as we go along here, but I put two of these in here on the bottom. I have that insulation. I'm going to put one of those down to keep a a gap for insulation and this thing sits right on the ground so there's no wind going to get underneath of it and then I'm going to put insulation all the way around it and then I'm going to stick the batteries right in the middle uh, if I have enough I'm going to do two two one on the bottom and then two on each side so it'll be two inches of styrofoam all the way around it unless I get some more and then I'll put more around it but that's where I'm at I'm going to try to get some of this together before it gets, as you can see, the sun is starting to go down, so I want to get this done before then. Alright, see you in a few. Are you guys ready? Okay, I'm losing the sun, but I'm pretty sure I got all this done, uh, at least good enough for now. I'm going to have to come back and uh, make just little marks, uh, cuts down here and there. So my wires can actually come down and this thing will not be pressing on it. Uh, the same way in the back. I've got the uh, inverter. This is what my batteries are setting at. 15.61. 
Now inside it says different. It's like uh, two, 12.9, 13 inside. Uh, I guess that's because of the loss, but as long as the batteries are charging fine, let me move all this real fast. Show you how that all. I had extra pieces, so I just piled it all on top. Chicken, leave, leave the salt panels alone. What are you doing over there, Rudy? Rudy! <laughs> yeah. That looks like a wire nightmare. But what it is, I got every one of these in series, because it's all 12 volt. Pretty sure that's it. But this uh, 90 watts is going into the charge controller inside, this, which is the uh, cheap China. MPPT charge controller and then each one of these has their charge controller already on it until I get the wires and until I get everything I'm just making do with what I got and then once I get the wires I'll wire this all into just the charge controller in there but right now these two are doing fine they work perfectly and they've been charging the batteries up as you can see <coughs> uh, 15.6160, somewhere in there. 15 volts. But anyway, so I got uh, like one of the panels coming, starting from this positive to this negative. And then I got the same way up here. I got like from this positive to this negative. And then I got like one from here to, oh, from negative to the positive or something like that around in there. Oh, one of the fourth ones. On the, uh, the four part. That's where the other ones are. Just to uh, make sure it tries to equalize the uh, charge on it. At least that's the theory I come up with. But everything is uh, insulated around. Uh, two inches thick. All the way around. That should pretty much keep the batteries, uh, like I said, their own temperature. Trying to keep um, with them charging. Of course, they heat up and and when they get used, they they uh, put out a little bit of heat, but that's why I figured I put these all in it. It'll keep somewhat of the heat in, and we'll see how it works for now until I get the rest of the stuff. Now, like I said, I'm waiting on a bunch of stuff, uh, connectors and stuff like that, and uh, what else? I got a, I got a bunch of stuff coming, in, but it's on a slow boat from China. I'm just testing out and using, but that's where I'm at. 640 amp hours of uh, batteries, all hooked up in 12 volt series, or it could be parallel. I'm pretty sure it was series. I'm not too familiar with all that, but uh, that's the way it is. I know that's what it is, and the way it's hooked up. Um, as you can see, I have these. Uh, what was it zero gauge? Uh, connectors, but if I was to put, I have a bunch more of them, and if I was to put it on top of here, this one to that one, the bolt on top is not long enough for me to, to get a uh, bolt or a nut down on top of it, a screw or a nut. And, but so I had to do what I had to do. I put one on every other one, and then I made my wire from there, which is probably two, two or four gauge, somewhere around in there. If it's two gauge, it's all two gauge. If it's four gauge, it's all four gauge. So that's the way it is. But that's where I'm at. Uh, here, I'll take you inside. Let's see what is, the readings are in there. Here's where the reading is out here. Let me go inside. Okay. <clears throat> that's what the reading is on that one. And that's what the reading is on see or not 12.84 and that is coming off the uh, MPP key charge controller and that's actually hooked straight up to the batteries and that's all I have it here for is just so I have a digital display to let me know what's going on but I don't know why it's two different uh, voltage use but as long as I know the batteries are charging up 
out there because I have my 1500 watt inverter um, out there. Uh, like I said, that that's plugged in too also. And let me see. Microwaves on. All right. Refrigerator, of course, I had it off. Um, it finally took three weeks, three weeks for it to run out of gas. So now I'm just going um, to put it on there and see what that took that down to up here. Now the refrigerator is on electric. 12.7, 12.64, 12.6. Yeah, that thing is going to draw some juice. So I think it's better to run these things off of uh, propane. Like I said, three weeks on a half of, uh, say, well, 10 pounds. It was a 20 pound bottle. 10 pounds of propane. Uh, so if I get a month and a half out of it, 45 days. So I'll turn that off. They don't have nothing in. <coughs> nothing in the fridge anyway. So here we go. Like I said, we're at 12.7 inside. And what was it, 12.6 or no, 15.6 or something like that outside? Huh? So, leave a comment, let me know why. Or, you can see here's uh, 15.45. Yeah, let me know, leave something in the comment section why it's like that. Uh, any, any help, always appreciate it. Well, until next time, you guys have a good one. Take care.